believe we've had yet another landfalling tropical system that marks 11 systems that have made landfall in the United States this season, which breaks the record, shatters it even, which was nine set back in 1916. So Zeta, of course, made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane yesterday afternoon and has been racing inland ever since. Still considered a tropical storm, though, will be losing those tropical characteristics. It is moving to the northeast at 48 miles per hour. So by the time we get to this evening, it is going to emerge over the western Atlantic. Those winds 50 miles per hour right now. So of course, yes, there's the center of the storm, but it has been bringing those impacts of rain and wind and even the potential for some severe weather. In our area, we haven't seen the heaviest rain. That has been removed to our north and west, but we have had some light to at times moderate, even heavy where we're seeing some of the yellows there. They're in Henderson. So there in Devance County, we are seeing some downpour this is going to continue to move west to east. A similar story playing out just south of Raleigh, Lillington, some wet weather. And we're seeing that rain moving into Rayford and Fayetteville. If I take you live outside around the triangle, if you take a close look at these cameras, you see that, of course, the trees are blowing. We've got raindrops on the lens. And those temperatures are in the mid to even upper 70s. It is warm out there and it is windy. 46 mile per hour gust right now reported in Raleigh, 39 miles per hour in Sanford. So everybody is seeing gusts over 20 miles per hour, some over 40 miles per hour. So our high wind warning in effect and then a wind advisory if you're not in that warning that is going to continue through 7 o'clock this evening. So wind and unfortunately the potential for severe weather. That marginal risk continues. This is the latest update from the Storm Prediction Center. Still a marginal risk, one out of five on the scale, damaging wind with an isolated tornado threat. So a little bit of a lull for us as Zeta pulls away, but then we have to turn our attention to a cold front that will come sweet Weeping through later on tonight. That is where we could see a line of storms firing up and future cash trying to bring this during the overnight hours. That's a trend we'll be watching into the afternoon because, of course, that would be coming during the overnight. So make sure you keep checking back for those updates. It's warm 70s and even low 80s there in Fayetteville. Temperatures will be rising into the 70s and lower 80s this afternoon. Windy and warm with some isolated showers. Then watching for more active weather with those showers and storms as the front moves through. So upper 70s and lower 80s today. It is going to remain an alert day. Active through tonight. Maybe an isolated shower early on Friday. Then we see the cooler air really funneling in. 50s when we wake up tomorrow morning. Highs only in the 60s. If you want it even cooler for Halloween, 58 is your high on Saturday. It is dry but it is going to be on the chilly side. And then even if we take a look, Liz, at the exclusive 10-day forecast, we get through today, we've got a lot of cooler weather, but a lot of sunshine, just going to be a bit active for us the rest of the day. Yeah.